What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Glenn Mefferson here. Back at it again with a back at it again. And if you guys want to see how I did these popping, okay, lavender long acrylic meows, definitely stay tuned to get snatched, honey. Hey guys, welcome back to Nail Poppin' Monday. So starting off, I'm gonna be using these tips by V Tart Box, okay? And these are actually um, press-on nails, but I just use them as tips. You can definitely just use press-on nails as tips. I did have to cut them just a little bit at the bottom so that I can, um, you know, use them as tips, okay? So I know I'm going super fast, but that's what I like to do. I'm not a pro, guys. I'm learning just along, <laughs> right along with you guys, okay? I'm, I'm really not a pro. Um, I just want to show you guys my process of how I do my nails. And, you know, the more I do them, the better I'll get. I say this in every video. So I'm using Maya Secret. Um... A clear acrylic and um and the uh, Maya Secrets liquid monomer. Okay, and I also got everything I got honestly is from Amazon. Okay, so um maybe I'll do like a more in-depth video of like things you need for beginners. And guys, I'm sorry if I sound crazy. I'm a little under the weather, my allergies are flaring up, and yeah. <laughs> But yes, y'all. So I'm starting. This is a, actually a number eight brush. And um, I recently got it, like, I think last month or something like that. And it's definitely a great brush. I recommend people to use, you know, as a beginner, to use um, the size number eight. Because um, it's the perfect size and you can manage and work and manipulate, like, the acrylic better. If you get a bigger brush it's actually a little harder like because i've i started with a bigger brush because my store didn't have the number eight so yeah and i'm sorry if i'm out of frame guys my tripod has been acting up so i did the best i can do okay but um you guys will learn how to do like the ratio how to get the perfect ratio like you'll just learn i've been watching a lot of long hair pretty nails and um i'm learning i'm learning a lot from her so I definitely, I think everyone should take this time to, this quarantine time to, like, be self-efficient and, you know, doing your own hair, nails, makeup, like, because we don't know when this stuff is going to end, we don't know when the pandemic is going to end, and um, you might as well start doing your own stuff yourself, like, and I'm noticing a lot of people, they're coming to me saying that, you know, they want to do their own nails now, and I think that's great. Like, yes, it's good to go get your nails done, but it's also good to be self-efficient and do things on your own, you know? So, um, yeah, these nails actually took three hours, and that's because I was taking my time. I wanted them to be perfect, and it actually did come out perfect. I mean, to me, it did. I know some nail techs might watch this and have some quick um, critiques, and that's fine. I appreciate it, you know? Also... Um, as you guys can see, like, demarcation of the nail tip and my nail. It looks like a broken nail, but that's the nail tip against my nail. So, I was supposed to file it down more so it can be seamless where you don't see that line. Okay, so, definitely don't have that line showing. But me, I didn't care because, um, I, I filed it down as much as I could. I didn't want to hurt myself, so I didn't file it too much. But next time I know... To make it seamless and these tips are kind of thick too and what I like about these tips they, they're not they don't break like I bought some clear tips from another um, nail supply store in person and those were very flimsy these are great nail tips they come already coffin shaped they have other shapes as well like stiletto or oval you know so um, 
yeah like you just want to make sure you get a good amount of acrylic on your nail make sure you know it's all even make sure you have like a nice curve apex going on and um i just say guys before you begin doing your own nails make sure you you know watch some people on youtube first like you can watch me but i'm not a pro <laughs> but definitely watch me um you know because i'm learning just like you but i like to watch long hair pretty nails I like to watch Christina Couture Nails. Um, it's someone else, but I like to watch, you know, those two channels the most because they help me in doing my nails. Okay, so most of my, mo all, mostly all my supplies are from Amazon, except for maybe my polishes, okay? So, yes, um, once I finished all my acrylic nails, as you guys can see, they're all on. I have all my acrylic on, and now I'm going in with a 100 slash 180 um, nail filer. I got 20 of these for $10 from Amazon. I'll leave the link down below, okay? And I'm just taking my time. Thank God these are already shaped, because they're just so much easier. Like, I know that's cheating, but for me, it's easier. So my next set, guys, is going to be some uh, stiletto nails. So I got tired of like shaping nails and I just felt like I couldn't shape them right, especially on my um, right hand because I'm right handed. So when I'm using my left hand to use my right hand, it's just a hot mess. Okay. So I shaped a little bit of the nail, you know, um, with the nail filer and now I'm using the electric drill. Okay. So guys, I feel like if you're going to be doing your nails, you should definitely invest in a nail drill. Um, it's only, it goes from maybe $18 to $40. They even have more expensive ones. But if you're just starting out, you can get the $18 one or the $40 one, $38 one. You know, I'll leave some suggestions down below or maybe I'll do a separate video. Um, so, yeah, I'm using, sorry, I'm so out of view. But I'm using the drill just to smooth out the nail. Like, it's like buffing the nail a little bit, but... I'm just like smoothing it out, but as far as the shape, I didn't really touch the shape as much, but that's what I'm doing here, and um, I think, yeah, like I said, I think it's, it's definitely worth it to get a drill. It's not that hard to use, um, and one thing I've noticed, since I ever, ever since I've been doing my own nails since last August, as you guys can see, they look bomb. I have not, I have yet to cut myself, okay? <laughs> Y'all know when I go to the nail salon, it'd be crazy. So I'm I'm missing the clip of me showing the nail polish, guys. I'm so sorry. But this is Chit Chat from Kiara Sky's um, Nails, okay? So Kiara Sky is so popping. Like, I really like Kiara Sky, and I'm definitely going to get more from her, okay? So, um, yeah. Don't. I mean, I don't like how I'm polishing this right here. I think I was distracted. But, um, oh, you also want to make sure you have a a UV gel, a UV lamp, excuse me, um, which is what I have right here. It was only $18 on Amazon, okay? Like, Amazon is clearly the GOAT right now, okay? So I'm going to just do one coat on each nail and then put them in the, cure them under the light. And um, because I was going for a nice, you know, cute, whitish look. So I actually bought two nail polishes from her. I bought Milky White and I bought Chit Chat. Okay, so I didn't like how Chit Chat, um, Milky White was looking. So I just went with the, um, the Chit Chat. Okay, so, but I love how, like, the quality of Kiara Sky polishes. It's honestly the best I've had yet far, this far. So, um, yeah, I'm really liking it. I did about three coats of this and I cured it. Okay, and I felt like my nails needed some spunk. So I wanted to add some crystals. And um, these crystals and this wax pen is all from Amazon, okay? I'll try to leave everything down below. And I put my glue, my um, jewel glue. Sorry, it's blurry. I'm so sorry, guys. But I do have other nail videos. Please go check that out. I decided to put some crystals on just two of the nails, okay, on each hand. Um, and, uh, you know, because I didn't want it to be too plain, but I wanted it to be plain, but like, you know, simple, not too crazy. So, yeah, so here I'm just putting the crystals on, um, going straight down. I wanted to use my smaller crystals, but I actually ran out. 
So, yes, once I finish that, I put clear polish on all the nails, um, the top coat from another company, and voila, okay, voila. I love this lamp. And guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look how pretty these nails are, okay? Um, I was definitely proud of these, very much proud of these. You know, it's simple. I'm not good with designs yet, so I try to do what I can do for now. I'm definitely going to try to work on doing more designs. If you guys have any ideas of what I should do, or things I should use, any um, advice, please let me know. And um, let me know if this is your favorite set this, this far, thus far. And um, again, go watch my other videos. I have more Nail Popping Monday videos. And yeah, let's get on this doing our own nails journey together you know the other side of the nails the back of the nails look great i'm just really proud of myself and um, if you guys do decide to do your own nails please tag me and yeah let's get it thank you guys for watching